Hello, we're here to set up touch sensing on a robot. In order for touch sensing to work correctly, you must set up your touch IOs. To set up your touch IOs, you can find those under the menu key. Go to setup, press F1 type, and look for something called touch IO. When your touch IOs screen is displayed, you will choose your touch sensing type. Are you using wire or laser? You can change that by pressing the F4 choice key. In this example, we're setting up for wire. So you have to come down to your sensor port type, and this is normally going to be a digital input, a DI. To change it, you would press F4 choice and select your input. You would have to assign it your sensor port number. I will show you how to find your sensor port numbers at the end. You have to set up your circuit port number. This would be a digital output. F4 choice and you find DO. You would set up your circuit port number. To find your sensor port number and your circuit port number, you can find that by pressing the IO key on the bottom of your teach pendant. You can look at your weld inputs in the top left on the banner. If you come down to line 5, these IOs are mapped to your welder. If you look from line 5 through 10, you will see DI113 through 119 with DI 114 missing. If you press F3 and out, it'll go to your weld output screen. If you come down here, you will find DO 113 through 119 with DO 115 missing. Those are the IOs you are going to use for touch sensing. You can also double check these IOs by going under your digital input and outputs by pressing the F1 type key, go to digital, and if you look at your digital output, line 115, you will see it's called touch command. If I press my F3 in out key, it'll switch from my digital outputs to my digital inputs, and you will see digital input 114 set up for our touch detect. Once you set those IOs up, that is it for your touch IO screen. Thank you.